Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. It's an award set. It awards an emerging photographer the opportunity to develop their career and skills through a mentorship program, which is an ideal space for a photographer to develop a body of work. That's the t &E Fellowship, which was awarded to Market Photo Workshop's alumni Matt Kay this year. Kay joins us now to tell us about this project titled The Front and is a body of work that investigates the Durban beachfront as an ever, <coughs> excuse me, as an ever changing space and the people that frequent it. Matt, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Sure, thank you for having me. Let's talk about this, man. You know, a lot of people think of the beaches in one way. We have either have a good experience, but you see something that we all know and see something completely different. What's the inspiration behind it? Yeah, I definitely think the beach is sort of quite a significant space for each person individually, and we each get what we want from, from, from that space. So I think when I went to photograph, I had my own idea of what to expect. And um, the challenge was to, to kind of stop looking like that and stop looking for what you expect and actually try and see it as it is, mm. as opposed to what you expect it to be. And I think once you start looking for things that are sort of slightly off kilter, or out of the ordinary, or out of your expectation, you, um, you start to discover the space as a, an entirely new space. Okay, L let's delve into the mind of Matt Kay very okay. quickly. <laughs> okay. okay, so you, you go as a child, you go to the beach, you travel, you come back. What was the, what said, what told you, what, in, what informed you that this was something that you truly wanted to investigate? Why that? Something so obvious. Well, I think also, b previously, before I just photographed the beach, I was working with public spaces in Johannesburg, which were shopping centers mostly. Yeah. And I got very interested in the way people behaved in public spaces. And um, I found that the beach is, as a public space, just in its own way, a very interesting space because people react, well, they behave very differently at the beach. People do things at the beach they don't normally do. In anywhere else you know you wear things you wouldn't normally wear there's also a whole system of um, sort of behavior and there's no real rules because no one really owns the beach so as much as mm. it's a non-confined space people can do what they want and no one can really tell you you can do this or you can't do that because it's it's sort of everybody's place so it became very interesting in terms of a public space very unique public space and let's go back to that position because you're quoted as saying that this body of work was about looking harder at a space I thought I knew and understood. When you're an artist and you're a photographer, how much do you need to remove yourself so that you can find that creativity, that beauty, that, that interest, or that emotional reaction from me as somebody who will consume your work of art at some point? I'm not even sure it's about removing yourself from it, actually. I think it's much more a case of following your gut. Like mm. when you... Especially for me, when I photograph, it's, it's a very instinctive process. I, I certainly don't go and go, right, I'm going to go and find these things. Yeah. I just take the camera and, and shoot f as freely as possible without trying to s narrow things down. I kind of just as openly and as instinctively and reactionally follow what I, what I find interesting. And then when it's the editing, that's when I decide, right, what am I actually seeing and what's important to me? And it's actually about yourself a lot as to how you react to your situation. I'm not so sure it's about removing. Mm. I think it's much more about sort of engaging. Mm. Why the front? Well, I like the title because for me, Durban was this place that I expected to be one thing, but it presents itself as one thing. But very often it's, it's, it's not that. It's a kind of a, it is a front. It's a, it's a boundary. It's a, it's a collision zone for so many people. And it's also a kind of a, a projection. I found that specific promenade section I was working was very much a kind of, in a lot of ways, a projection of a sort of modern South African integrated space. But it, on the surface, it's, just, well, it's made to look like that. But just underneath, I'm not so sure it's that. It is definitely a, it's a, it's a front. This uh, fellowship experience, explain that to me. What does it mean to you? Yeah, well, I mean, so how it works, just to give you a bit of background on it, is that the Trini Fellowship, there's three recipients, one from the Market Photo Workshop, one from Michaelis and one from Vitz. And you work th um, over a period of a year on a project, but you get to work with a mentor. Mm. And in this case, I, I would l wanted to work with David Goldblatt, who obviously is a, a huge mm. photographic force. And um, so you work for a year w um, with this mentor, and that's, that in itself is a massive learning and a very sort of quite an incredible experience on its own. Matt, we've run out of time. We can talk to you a, uh, a lot more. And I, uh, where can people view it? Where can they very quickly? So at the moment, the show is on for two months at the Market Photo Workshop Gallery okay. in Newtown. Okay, so if you want to go and check it out, Matt Kay's work, it's called The Front, apparently. It's absolutely amazing. Label my co is raving about it. Matt Kay is the recipient of the t &E Fellowship at the Market Photo Workshop, which awards an emerging photographer the opportunity to develop their career and skills 
through the mentorship program. Come on, it's a new time. Go and check it out today. There's lots of space. Go and take your friends, your family. It's an interesting uh, discussion point. We're taking out.